Hello guys, welcome to Delhi Current Affairs series. Today we will discuss 24th November Current Affairs. Myself, Sunny Sandeep. Welcome to our channel, Gear Up for Group 1 Exam. Let us discuss the today's important current affairs. The first one, Tarun Gagoy. Yesterday he was died. Why we have to remember about this person? Why? Because he is a great politician. If you see that, he was born in 11th October 1934 and yesterday he was died. Tarun Gagoy was an Indian politician. He was a member of the Indian National Congress. He was the longest serving Chief Minister of the Assam. He served as the Chief Minister of Assam from 2001 to 2016. We see the accomplishments or success of this this person that is Tarun Gagoy during his tenure as the chief minister he is credited with ending militant insurgency we know that there is a militant insurgency from our neighboring countries here he successfully tackled that militant insurgency and he also mitigated violence in addition to improving the state's physical condition that's it that means he improved the state financial condition that is assam's financial condition also improved under the tarun gagoi that's why we have to remember or we have to know about this great personality that is tarun gagoi next one umang app why it is a news what is the significance of this app I also downloaded this app, um, Umang app. In that, it is a one app. It consists of many government schemes or many government services. In that, there is a utility and there is a general and there is a uh, portal for farmers, students, Indian culture, tourism and many more. That's why to mark the occasion of three years of Umang, the Union Minister for IT launched the Umang's international version in coordination with Minister of External Affairs for select countries that will include United States of America, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, United Arab Emirates, Netherlands, Singapore and New Zealand. These will include the in this uh, Umang app that will enhance or uh, that will be helpful for the NRI students to coordinate with the our external affairs. Here, the Umang mobile app, it is a unified mobile application for new age governance. Here, if you see the abbreviation of this Umang app, that is unified mobile application for new age governance is a government of uh, India all in one single multilingual multi-service mobile app providing access to high impact services of various government of India departments and also state governments. Next one. Cyclone Nevar. We have seen there is a Cyclone Amphan in this year May. Now there is a Cyclone Nevar in the Bay of Bengal. Here Tamil Nadu is readying contingency plan to face the Cyclone Nevar. Why? Because by this uh, Wednesday or next week it will hit the Tamil Nadu. That's why Tamil Nadu is readying contingency plans to face uh, Cyclone Nevar. Here the Bay of Bengal will see its uh, second sorrow severe cyclone of the year after super cyclone amphan in this may here the india meteorological department that is imd has forecast the development of a cyclone in the southwest region of the bay of bengal of the tamil nadu coast right side you can see the picture of this cyclone ever impact or where it will started or it is starting from bay of bengal it may hit the some places in the tamil nadu next one Changi E4 very very important why because on November 24 China's Changi E5 lunar mission will become the first probe in our four decades to attempt to bring back samples of lunar rock from previously unexplored portion of the moon we we know that there is a Changi 4 that is a regarding dark side to explore the dark side of the moon here the spacecraft it is set to return the Return to Earth around December 15th. Changi 4 
sorry changi 5 probe is the chinese national administration that is cnsa lunar sample return mission that is what we have to know about regarding the changi 5 next one as a part of upsc plan 2020 today we will discuss the 24th question one common agreement between gandhism and marxism here options are the final goal of stateless society class struggle abolition of private property and economic determinism here all b c d we can eliminate by that these two persons are uh, talking about final goal of the stateless society are these two persons are uh, talking about stateless society that means there is a one common agreement between these gandhism and marxism that's why the right option is a the final goal of stateless society with this we can conclude our video thanks for watching like share subscribe to our channel get up for group on exam this is sunny sandeep signing out take care and bye bye